Good morning, welcome to Gosport. I've been before and I made a bad video, so I'm here again to make a good video. Now on paper this golf course looks very easy, but the holes go anti-clockwise round the golf course. So on the right of almost every hole we've got out of bounds. Now on the first there's room to go left, to go inland away from the out of bounds. So many of the holes inland there's trouble. So you've got to play this course very carefully. Otherwise you're going to rack up rather a large score. The first hole is rather short. With out of bounds down the right though, you have to take care. I don't feel the need to go further than 200 yards here. And the reason for that is the green is rather narrow and well protected. So a full shot in is absolutely ideal if you want to start with a par. The second has out of bounds to the right and trees on the left. Three wood is just right. Get it in the middle of the fairway and leave yourself a short iron in. And we can start with a second par. And as you'll see, my little putting tip has helped Neville firm up his stroke on these short putts. My last round at West Mom. The third Hello. is completely blind. You can't see where you're going. You can't see the ball land. All I know is that I wanted to be right of that one tree. But I've overdone that. So let's have another go. And I'm not too sure about that one either. When we get to the fairway, it's the second ball. And that is an absolutely awful shot. 42 left out of this junk but it looks like we'll get away with a double bogey bit like that bit like that only just though par with the second ball yeah out of bounds right water left we need a big high fade the reason I'm going with driver is because on this Lynx turf, if I find the fairway, I can get on in two. And I can't believe it, I've hit another one of those. And I'm really living dangerously today. Just never a doubt. It's <laughs> good parts. Ah. Lucky. The fifth is a dog leg left over water. My first visit here, I hit four iron. This time, I'm going three hybrid. And I might have bitten off more than I can chew. I'm happy to see a bounce. Yes. We're in the left rough and we're going to the right hand green over the bunker. Yes, Just made it. Yep. 
para el Summit Summit. Uh-huh. Vaguely remember the name. I'm not sure he's still with us. Yay! Get one back. The sixth is a long par three over water. And shot tracer lives up to its other name, Shit Tracer. Though I'm not so good at chipping on Lynx oh, turf. Nice bounce. It's not something I'm used to. So we rack up a bogey to, hit it. to Neville's par. We go on to the seventh. And this one is really tight. Going with the three wood. Lands in the fairway. Just see it run away. Another blind shot. Not entirely sure where I'm going. We can only hope for the best. And another par. Just a little shy on pace. Eighth is the final par five. I've been told which house to aim at. Shot. And that's pretty decent. <coughs> I don't want to take too much of a gamble with the second, so I'm going six iron. It hits the bottom of the fence, charges across the fairway. I'm over by the first green. I'm really not keen on that out of bounds on the right. Oh, bounce right. Ah, unlucky. I'm going to just slightly hit it as soon as I hit it. The ninth is a par three. It plays slightly uphill, so I'm taking a six iron. Well, Plus, you've got to carry a rather nasty front bunker. <laughs> Neville got his birdie, and I almost followed him in. Right Off to ten. Now the tee box is on the right, so now we've got a dog leg. I'm taking driver, if only to prove. Bit of anger in that one that you don't need to hit driver on this short hole. I'm on Lynx turf, I can't throw the ball in the air, I'm in no man's land and I make a mess of it. Had I had a card in my hand, I would have played my hybrid again. But I just wanted to show you at the sacrifice of my score, what can go wrong when you attempt to overpower it, a short par four. From the 11th tee, this hole is straight and you're staring right at the out of bounds on the right. I've overdone my draw and we've slipped into the bush by two inches. So I've had to take two club lengths sideways, penalty drop, We'll see if we can grind out another bogey. Oh. Got a bounce. Come on, Simon. Hit it. I don't know why I'm doing this now. A bit of too soft. Oh. So we start back with two bogeys. Well, from 12, at least you can see part of the fairway. Out of bounds on the right, staring you right in the face. I've drawn the driver away. I've got myself a flyer lie in the rough and a bit of a blind shot to the green. But we've hit a really good one. 
and it really did fly. Get now, get now. Yeah, good effort. On to 13, this time around we play it with a long par 4. Just got to go over that end bush or hit a little fade. And I've gone with 3 wood. It's a bit tight up there. Now it's a hybrid. And I certainly wasn't going right this time. Left myself in a horrible position. There's no way I'm making par from here. On to 14, different tee box, and back over the water again. This time I'm going 5 wood. Done exactly what I didn't want to do. And we play to the left hand green over a pond. Almost out of the divot I made the first time round. Go! 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 <laughs> Never in doubt! Fifteen were a long way forward, so we dropped from a four iron to an eight iron. Good line. In this case, a very easy yeah, eight iron. Hole. Neville gets his birdie. Follow that. That's his second Follow birdie that. of the round. I've only had one. My putt's harder. <laughs> so I need to it's get uphill. this to even the score. The 16th tee shot is even tighter than the first time around. Now I'm going hybrid. And to make matters worse, I've hooked it. And my GPS has just died. I don't know the direction. I don't know the distance. This is a pure guess. On the 17th you're forced to go over the out of bounds and I really do not know what the correct line is here ah! I don't think it was that I think that's well right keeping well left which puts me in the middle of the first fairway this is a tough hole and it's one of several on this course that you have to learn what direction to hit it in because you simply can't see. This is a tough course. We go on to 18. holes deeper as we go around. Now if I owned this place, I'd turn the ninth hole into a practice area and simply play this hole twice. Narrow green, nicely framed, it's the better of the two, by far. Cheerio! Well done. Thank you so much. Thank you.